Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ifeolu Washoke and Nimi Dekombi. Okay. Your teeth is smiling, but your eyes are not smiling. Oh, me? Mm. Ah. Me, I'm, me, I'm happy. <laughs> I didn't say you're not happy. I just, <laughs> okay, that means you understood the description. Yeah. Anyway, let's get right into it. Shem Kuti has reacted to the Okada and Kekeban, saying many don't care about the riders, just their services. In an Instagram post, he said Nigerian professionals have shown their true colors again as largely oppressors in waiting. Children dying in hospital every day, they don't care. Miss educated and undereducated children they don't care police brutality no outrage but tell them to walk from bus stop to the office oh no the worst has happened if you wish for your children or loved ones to be okada and keke riders please raise up your hand we know these are jobs we pacify those we have failed with slave labor and slave wages and we're ready to fight for them to continue slaving away end of quote Okay, so because if I is always the one who is on Shemkuti's level, <laughs> I will leave you to explain. Uh, what do you mean I'm always on Shemkuti? You're always understanding where he's coming from. Me, yeah. I don't use understanding. Because I'm even confused with this post. <laughs> yeah, it was coming from so many yeah. angles. So it wasn't coming yeah. from so many angles. I think it was quite self-explanatory because mm -hmm. um, what Shemkuti was trying to say is that, look, Everybody is not concerned about this Okada riders, whether they are out of job or they're not out of job. You're mm -hmm. concerned about your own getting from point A to point B, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is the services that these people actually render. render. So you're not fighting for this Okada ban because you care about their source of livelihood. Because to be honest, everybody is just concerned that they are trekking. Oh, trek, oh, us, oh, this, oh, that. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. Everybody is mm. just worried that they have to trek. Mm. However, now, however, I've actually however, seen people wait, 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 wait. Okay. That's what I'm saying that um, some people are still saying that, okay, what you want these guys to do? Mm -hmm. You didn't create an alternative for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. But like he rightly said, if you want your child to be an Okada rider mm. or a Keke driver, please put up your hand. Mm. Nobody would say so. You still, we still see these people like uh, they are up to no good in the society, anyway. Really? Yeah, but their services are very, 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 very important to us. So I get where Shion is coming from. That look, there are times that we should actually stand up for. Not because we're enjoying things, not because of our selfish interest, but because we actually care. Like, let the conversation start from what do you want these guys to do? If you check everybody, everybody, some people are saying it, like you said, some people are saying it, but others, at least 80% are concerned about the fact that they have to trek. I would not agree with that, because <clears throat> most of the people who have seen who have spoken about the Okada ban are not actually, yes, there have been people who have voiced out their concerns about how they are going to get to their destination, but there have also been people who are concerned, and it's not just um, conversations I have with maybe like my friends, even on social media we've been having that conversation, and it's also looking at how Lagos State treats poor people. That's, that, is the own, that is the perspective that I've been seeing on social media, how Lagos State treats poor people. You're looking at how they sent the people of Takwa Bay away from Takwa Bay. We don't yet know know what is going to happen to those people and now they've banned the, without notice or any alternative and they've done the same thing to the Okada people the conversation that I have been seeing is how Lagos State says that it's for the people but they are not actually catering to the disadvantaged people in the society the people that are not as privileged that's where those those are the conversations I've been seeing yes on the funny side on the light side I've been seeing people complaining about trekking and also I've seen people complaining about the fact that while trekking these long distances, they've been robbed and they've been mocked. Those are the conversations I've been seeing. I've not seen anybody um, looking down on Okada riders. They, their services are needed, but we're also not taking You're away not their saying humanity. Anybody's looking down on them. It's just saying that would you be proud to have your child? That's not the only thing he said in that um, um, whatever he wrote. And yeah. frankly speaking, so what if people are bothered about the service? I'm sorry to say, but in fact, I'm not sorry to say we are all selfish at some point yeah, in time. Yeah, it's human nature. You, you, I wouldn't be sitting here if I'm not 
doing a good job. Mm -hmm. And that's the fact. If your services are not um, favorable, nobody's going to come to you. And yeah, because exactly. these people actually have something they are offering, that is why they become important to the people in the society. So mm -hmm. if you think that there's something wrong with that, then maybe he should really explain where he's coming from. Because you people listen to you as Sheo Kuti because you give them good music. Yeah. And that's the only reason you are actually important or someone will pay money on your no, kids. I mean, because it's, in a it's very intelligent board. as well and it's very outspoken about things that the government do such as police brutality. So if he was not a show injustice. And again, even people say even we say people don't even talk about these things. To. People have always spoken about police brutality. And They've always sorry, spoken about these issues ahead. that even yeah, raised in the Before you post. go ahead, most of the people coming out to talk about this, like influencers that actually, when I talk about influencers, and I'm not just talking about digital or whatever marketers, I'm talking about people that are top leaders in different areas or different careers, walks of life, that are talking about um, this issue. They don't even use bikes. Mm -hmm. But they've taken it upon themselves to understand the issues that this is raising. Because Going they have family members that use bikes. I don't think that is you the think, reason. Uh, you think there are some um, people that they are family members. So you think his 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 aides don't have family members that are going through this, but they are actively supporting what is going on right now. So I don't think you should always come come out to look for a way to throw everybody under the bus. Exactly. No, I don't think she. You know that that's what she does every time. He finds a way to make everybody feel <laughs> stupid. He's the only good person in Nigeria. No. He's the only activist that sees <laughs> things from Shion, a place Shion from Shion is a very intellectual person. Mm -hmm. I don't have intellect. Yes. I agree. All I'm no, saying. No, that's not what I'm saying. No, no, I'm, no, no. I'm no one, just no one saying, is comparing you to Shion Kuti. I'm just saying. I'm just Shion saying. is a very intellectual person, mm -hmm. and it takes um, a level of understanding of how to the human. No, no, no. Come on, don't. Yeah, mm -hmm. it takes a level of understanding to actually get where he's coming from. That's okay. what I'm saying. So, I don't have that level of understanding. Basically, Shewo should really stop and try to understand people yeah. and their plight. So, you, because people are complaining now, actually, just, just saying it that about you, have to you yourself. Do you know? Do you know? Right now, you're contradicting yourself. For people to do you know you're contradicting when yourself? When they're being very uncomfortable. Do you know you're contradicting How yourself because you're saying myself? that okay, it's okay, it's natural for people to be selfish. So let people yes, think. It is. So what she was saying is still correct. It's valid because it's saying that look, everybody are just coming from a selfish point of view. It's not because you care about no, this but the way exactly because the way their voices on other exactly issues. he was accused but he was a very accusatory their voices on issues because if you are not affect look we have said it on this table that until a celebrity is affected by the NSAS movement. Mm -hmm. That is the only time they speak if on I it. If I the celebrities out of this, this Wait, is about the celebrities. Now, I'm talking, no, no, we've said it constantly. Yes, That we have. until you are affected by certain things, mm -hmm. you... You, people do not really speak up. Okay. Do you understand? It's until you take a family member to the hospital that was shot, and they're telling you that we're not going to treat this person mm. until you bring uh, a police report. That is when you get concerned. That okay. is when everyone so speaks up. So everybody is selfish in a way. Okay. Can and I nobody's know arguing. Saying? Nobody's that arguing. Is that exactly that what she was saying. When in Nigeria, when we use the word, and by we, I mean people that are intellectual, let's use that word. When we use the word in Influencers. It is not about celebrities. I'm. I'm, I'm not, not sorry I just to use say that, as that an example. Nigerian celebrities are not nothing really close to being influencers. Yeah. They don't influence anything. They influence their own life, their own music, and their pocket. And it we is have a absolutely few of them that are influencing fine. Stuff. We're talking of majority here. Right, so if you're looking at and it, we're from talking that about angle, majority, they are not in and we're talking about majority of people who are only concerned about the services as well and not the and welfare. I'm saying, what and is I'm saying, you cannot in being concerned about and the I'm services. Saying that you cannot say that majority of people are only concerned about the I can, services. I, 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 I can put my last penny on it that a lot of people are only concerned about this. I'm telling you, I, I cannot pull out the stats, but I'm telling you that if we have to check it, mm -hmm. a lot of people are only concerned because they're affected. And, it was, and is that a problem? At the end of the day, the services were never exactly. for free. It's a, so that is why it's a legit it. service. But that's what I'm it's saying, that the fair. way he put the it is accusatory. Like, like, as you know, you should feel bad about it. I mean, that is the problem in his post. It's, it's, it's what you decide to take away from a post. Sometimes you should just take some things and let some things go. So if you are seeing it as accusatory, yes. So what is okay. absolutely Maybe because wrong in being an Okada driver, especially when there is no other employment for you and you decide to be and it's a, not it's an honest and occupation. Working, I think the conversation should be on people
people who have constantly looked down on these people. Look, mm -hmm. I speak to Okada people, I speak to Keke people, I see them on the road. That and was the say, last time you got on the bike. Conversation. What was the last time I got on a bike? Really? Mm. Did we send Okada bus? <laughs> no, 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 no. Even before the Okada bus, when was the last time you honestly got on a bike? I don't get on a bike, but I do enter Keke. Oh, so, we are talking okay. about the same set of But you know that there are some people who do and this thing because of they, want to they want to sponsor themselves mm. to school. There are different reasons why people do these jobs. So, I don't think it's right to even look look down. The issue I actually had with his post was saying that how many people will want their child to be a Keke driver or... Wife. I don't want That's my it. child to be a Keke driver. On a, on then you are speaking from driver. a privileged point of view. I'm not speaking from a privileged point of view. I'm saying it that look, even those that are less privileged do not want their kids, but circumstances is what leads people to different occupations. Do you understand? Should they feel bad because they are a car driver? They shouldn't. <sighs> Okay, I anyway, guess we're being taken out of another question concept. he asked, who will be proud of the child? Yeah. Being mm. driver, there are people, there are places you will go to, and that is a goal and a dream. That is a goal and a dream. Yes, there are some villages you go to. Let's just move on. Goal. Goal. <laughs> Actor villages. Yuri Doche speaks on sex for jobs as he makes reference to the Nollywood industry. He tweeted, and I quote, I condemn sex for jobs completely. If now your way, hear this advice. If you promise a girl a job in exchange for sex, once she gives you, make sure you do not feel her. If she swear for you, your own don't finish. This matter has wrecked many, especially Nollywood practitioners. End of quotes. Mm. I don't know. Okay. I think <laughs> in this, in the entertainment industry, we see so many people who have come out to talk about sex for jobs, sex for jobs. I think um, recently, the, um, this um, OAP that said that a lot of entertainers sleep with their managers. Fola 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 Then Oreka God is also said in the broadcast industry too, there are so many people that are sleeping with each other. So I don't understand. I feel like there is a, there, there is a lot that is going on. In that space, there is a lot of. I think there's a difference between what Fola said and what what you Oreka is saying. said. Or what Oreka, Oreka said. was basically calling them out for sexual harassment. Yeah. And it's, I mean, a lot of using things. their power to but get sexual Fola was just saying they're sleeping yeah. with each other. So yeah. she's not I'm just saying that there has been a lot of you know <laughs> there's a lot of like sexual mm. harassment, sexual this, sexual that going on well, in that industry. We've heard about the sex for role, especially in the yeah. mm. industry. We've had guests on the show that have said. It happens, but of course, we've not gotten to that point where anybody's bold enough to call out who this is happening yeah. or the, who is making this happen. And at the same time, even if they get bold enough to, do we have laws and are we even in that society that can protect them mm -hmm. and make sure they are not blacklisted and also mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. a sure. decent living? So it's it's a very dicey situation and. Um, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say about it. Yeah, I think I'll come from the angle of I hope that there will be laws that are re there will be laws that would help to regulate this kind of incident. That when people are in situations where you're an actor, you're a creative person, you want to audition for a role, and then the producer or the director is saying you must have sex with me for this role. I hope that there would be a law, a regulation, or a body Just that they can law. report to that laws, would help them. We don't have structured, it, there's no sure. structured, there's structure no structure in the industry. In fact, in so many industries in Nigeria that yeah. would feel like they have structures, there's really no structure because we as human beings are the structure. Mm -hmm. So if we do not uphold whatever structure we have laid down or whatever rule that is just a waste of time, you know. Yeah. So at the end of the day, we still have to come back to our mindset. If a lady comes out now to say, this man told me to sleep with him or I won't get this rule in the movie, just check out the comments and you yeah. understand where we are. But I think it, it would also affect the quality of our movies going forward because that means that it's, the role will not go to the best talented mm -hmm. person. It's not going to go to the person who can actually do the work. It will go to the person who is ready to sleep but from what with he's anybody saying, for the it's role. It's clear that um, they, are, they are, how will I put it now, you they say GBT, whatever. <laughs> now, so they are being cheated. Yeah. Even when they, they sleep with the you know, they don't of, get it. So yeah. I don't know. I think any lady that is willing to give up a body for a role doesn't know at what, and you probably don't have um, any talent or anything upstairs for you to even leverage your body for roles, for jobs, for things like that. So I think we should be talking to these ladies first that are willing to do such despicable things to get jobs, to get roles, to get um, grades, to get that. It just shows that you have nothing upstairs. Uh, and I'm saying that well, if you say sex for grades, I would not explicitly say that that means that they have. Uh, 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 
maybe because you know when it comes for I'm sex not talking about the power ones dynamic that I'm not talking about the on. ones that are forced are forced to I'm talking about the ones that are willing to give up that, their body okay. just so that they can pass exams. Okay, well, I'm talking about but those this that is are not willing, this is not this them is offering their body. This is the director that. saying that you must have sex with no, me. No, he never said for you the must. Rule. He said like come on, it's 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 a open conversation. Oh, mm -hmm. If come on, come hang out with me. Yeah, you get this, and then you're like, okay, yeah, yeah. Why not? No problem, as a lady, because you want it. Then, but if you believe in your talents, because you can't tell me every female actress. I say every female actress. Of course, actress is a female. <laughs> so every actress, out, you can't tell me that every actress is uh, what's it called? Has slept for a role before. You cannot tell me that every. Uh, employee in a company slept to the boss to get a job no you can't tell me that because there are people who actually work out for these things so i understand um you let those chase point but i think that we should also lean towards these ladies too that are willing but you know it's, a, a, it's an offense or is it a crime now <clears throat> to actually offer or to say do this for this basically yeah. Actually, when you no, i don't think they just say it expressly they they hint it they they make you <laughs> feel like the hinting is the problem i should you should i should not walk into a space trying to get a job trying to get a role and feel like i i need, I need to, to sleep with you in order to get that let me be judged based on my talent let me be judged that's sexual based harassment. On, exactly it is sexual harassment and then there are some people who feel like okay there's no other way for them to do this they just have Especially to do it when you are in a country Desperate. that has one of the highest rates of unemployment unemployment you might feel like this is the only thing you have to do to yes. survive yes. so i don't think it's about just about, not, you know, being talented, not being talented yes. i don't even think it's really that. Sis, um, we're in a country where things are hard. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that are into fraud. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that are into um, crazy things to make money. I'm not doing it, am I? I have a good job. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what I love to do. Mm -hmm. So let people begin to choose for themselves what exactly they want. Mm -hmm. There's no amount of desperation that will make me turn to a Yahoo boy. Mm -hmm. There's no amount of desperation that will make me turn to an armed robber. Do you understand? Like, I can't be that desperate because I have values, I have standards. I so I think people should say. set goals, standards, mm -hmm. and values for themselves. Understood. But at the same time, we're just saying also look at things from the we can't keep No, we can't keep blaming the society. The we can't keep blaming unemployment. I mean, you cannot take that away because at the end of the day, people have to feed. There are three basic necessities of life, which is what? Clothing. Get a small and scale what? business. Sell pepper. Go into farming. You start go again, into exactly. this. Look, there's some. How see, do you start you know, again, you know, that's exactly. a problem. You just a lot of people, go, boom, a, a lot of, a lot of, it, a lot of right? people think like, okay, it's, it's so difficult to go into farming. With three broilers. How much did you get three broilers? One is 3,500. That's times three. Yeah, that's um like um what's it called? Uh, that's like ten, ten five. five. So you if you're talking how, about, do you know how difficult it is for some people? We are talking that when offer we, if SME if I, loans, if I, ten thousand five hundred. When we are talking, let's stop making no, excuses for be, things yo, that can be done. When we are talking about poverty, poverty is those that live below one dollar mark. A day, mm. and that is what they have to use yeah. to feed them. And a huge percent of Nigerians move. Sell pure water you not on the street to you make ten thousand five to start the your job. The same trees that they have chased away from selling pure water, right? And uh, can sell it in front of your house. I mean, I like that we got to this point because it clearly shows that you and Sheon Kuti don't even understand what exactly is going on in the country. No, you, 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 you get it. Look, we keep making excuses, excuses, excuses. Okay, I was having a conversation with somebody um, over the weekend, and then he was telling me that uh, he, he had a job and they were taking tax from him, they were taking tax uh, every now and then. Then he's been out of job for six months and the government doesn't care about him. And nobody gives a hood. And for him, for somebody that has been working and he has been paying tax to the government, he believes he should be getting something. So I said, okay, how many years of work experience do you have? He said, at least he has worked for like seven years. I said, okay, so if they set up um, an office now and they say, okay, every youth, please come and be taking 200 naira per day. Will you go there? It was quiet. Because of the pride in us. Will you go and queue for 200 naira per day? 
nobody. I don't understand what you're saying. Like, why, I don't think anybody why would anybody set up want to queue? I'm saying them. if the government now says that, why okay, would the government even think that? Okay, because a lot of people say, oh, we should be entitled, they should be paying us 50,000. Haven't you heard conversations like that? That the government should pay us Yeah, should pay the youth, should pay, like, ah, at least we should be entitled to something, especially unemployed people. Because there are unemployment schemes in America that yes, covers yes, your sure. basic needs, and people actually go there, they get food, at least they get three square bills, mm -hmm. they just go to these places, and they're homeless Life shelters. Do you understand? So I'm saying that, okay, if they even implement such things in Nigeria, please, will you, you go? Won't go? I'm talking about the privileged life of us, people, the ones that have worked. John, because okay, I'm talking to somebody to that was once employed and was complaining that he was not employed and that he's, he's not employed so anymore. To look at this one, but sometimes let's just be what's the word now? Let's have some empathy. empathy. That's, that's just it. Anyway, that's how I wrap up this episode of Sea Time. Thank you so much for watching. Now you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting our, visiting our YouTube channel and subscribing at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Sea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Nimide Kombi and Ifeolu Oshokaye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay with us.